All right, uh, Mr. Bishop here. So um, this I'm gonna set up the Island Biogeography Lab here uh, for this lab uh, or outdoor activity. We're gonna call it an outdoor activity um, for online learning. Um, you are going to need um, some paper plates. Any, uh, these are some paper plates I had um, about uh, 12 to, um, yeah. Uh, let's say got 10 paper plates here. That's fine. We'll do 10. Um, and, uh, they should all be the same size. And, uh, if it's windy, I don't think I've got too much wind here, but if it's windy, you might need to hold them down, uh, with a rock. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, uh, our plates are going to represent islands here. And, uh, what I've also got down here is I've got some, uh, bird seed. Um, you don't have to use bird seed. You can, uh, use sunflower seeds or just fine or, uh, something small basically that you can toss, um, on your lawn, uh, that'll show up on the plates. Um, to represent uh, species populating the islands um, that your parents won't be too upset with you tossing on the lawn. Um, maybe grass seed, who knows? Um, I don't know what your lawns look like. Or uh, if you don't have a lawn, uh, you could do this in a park um, or some outdoor space. Uh, so what you wanna do is first you wanna set up, so um, as you'll see in a few minutes, I'm going to serve as the mainland from which the species are going to uh, um, inhabit the islands. And um, I wanna set these plates up uh, so that uh, the last island is furthest from the mainland. And I, you want them to be about equidistant, so uh, hopefully my uh, lab assistant here, Coco, doesn't, um, mess up our lab setup too much, but Coco, leave it. Um, she's going to be curious. Ah, ah, drop it. Good girl. Uh, but leave it. Good girl. Thank you. And so there, I don't know if the audio can pick me up. There is my experimental setup. And then I am going to stand about 10 feet back from the initial plate. If you have a tape measure um, to make sure that the islands are equal distance apart, um, I sort of eyeballed it, but uh, to be more precise, you would use a tape measure and then measure 10 feet back. So I'm gonna set up uh, here. Hopefully you can see this. So. So, um, once you've got your seed and uh, island set up, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a handful of seed and you're gonna stand in one spot and you're going to toss the seed towards the islands. And you might throw a few So then once you've uh, done some uh, island biogeography, 
what you're going to do is you're going to uh, go to each island and each island you're going to count the number of species and uh, here I don't have uniform seeds um, and so maybe get the, these black sunflower seeds will be a little bit easier to count um, but uh, as you can see or you'll see in your experimental results um, but you're going to count data for each so you're going to count the number of species that inhabit each island and uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna pull all that data together, and um, we will have a spreadsheet, and then you're gonna graph that data, and uh, we'll talk about the graphing of that data. So again, um, to recap, uh, ten uh, to twelve uh, or ten to fifteen paper plates, um, depending on how much data and space you have. Um, some seed. Uh, I use bird seed, but sunflower seeds are fine. And then you just want to, again, uh, set up about a few feet back and um, you're gonna toss the bird seed. And uh, the bird seed that lands on the plates is going to be the species that inhabit the islands. Island Bio Geography Lab uh, and we will analyze.